I went to the first supernova, tell yes. Tell me about the first supernova. I'm gonna, st let me tell you guys a tale about the first supernova. I'm gonna start at the very beginning. My carpool going to supernova was myself, I'm Gunther's high, um, Venom, also known as Jake Hefner, Arrow, Tom Silva, and that was the gang. That was the group of dudes. We were gonna, we were, we were carpooling together from Venom's house to LAX to fly all the way to Supernova. And there was just like, for, it first starts with, I get, to, I get to Venom's house the day before. And Venom's like, he's being a little baby. He's like, oh dude, my stomach hurts. I, th I, don't, I don't think I wanna go anymore. And like, we're, we're sitting there, we're eating flame broil. And I'm like, dude, you will be the biggest fucking idiot if you don't go to Supernova. Like you are, you are risking, like it's, it's like, you are such like a, like, like this is this is it. Like like this is like we're gonna go to the East Coast. And we're gonna fucking stomp them. Like you have, please fucking go to this tournament, you big dumb idiot. And you can ask you can ask Venom, and he will attribute me bullying him into going to Supernova. <laughs> and um, Arrow gets there that night. We all wake up. We're driving to the airport. We leave a little late, which is like not a big deal at the time because we're like ah you know we got time. We left a little late. We're, we're not on schedule, per se, but, like, we have a big buffer. We're still going to make it. We're going to make it. And um, we're driving past a fucking mall, and I, I swear to God this is what happens. Venom is, like, sitting in the backseat, and he's like, dude, I'm hungry. And we're like, yeah, can, can it wait until we get to the fucking airport? And he's like... He's like, no, dude, I don't feel good. If I don't, he's like, if I don't get any food, I'm gonna throw up. It should be noted at this point in the story, Venom's a fucking diva. Like, like I, like, I don't know how else to fucking put it. And so, and so, fucking Arrow's driving. He's like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pull into this, we're gonna pull into this fucking to this, uh, this mall. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to the food court. And we're gonna get you something. To eat. We're walking there. We get to the, we get to the food court. We get to Subway, and. Um, as we're, as we're walking out, Arrow is like, I've been looking around at the Aeropostale store because they have a shirt that says SoCal Arrow on it, and I want it, but I just haven't found it in my size. It's the one by my house. And Jake, in his infinite fucking wisdom, is like, dude, let's go. The Aeropostale store is in here, bro. Let's check it out. We now spend another 30 fucking minutes in this store so Arrow can get the fucking shirt in his size, wait in line, buy it. Now we're back on the fucking road. At this point, we are like, oh, what's going on? Like, what's going to happen? Like, we're like, we'll barely make it, I think. We will barely fucking make it. And so we're driving. We get to the fucking airport. Or, sorry, we're going to get... On the, on the off-ramp to go to the airport. For those who don't know, the off-ramp to get to LAX, there's one off-ramp. If you miss it, it's very, 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 very annoying because the freeway ends, and so you have to go on a road and turn around. And, like, anyways, Arrow misses the exit. And so at this point, I am in the back seat hyperventilating because I am very poor and, like, I am thinking I just wasted 300 fucking dollars on a plane ticket to New York that I'm not even going to use. I have no money. Like, I, I spent so much money to do this. I was, like, I was being, I was very quiet because, like, I was about to start yelling at both of them because it was so frustrating. And so, but, I, but, I, but like, we are like, we still have time. We still have a little bit of time. At this point, the other people who we were flying with, like, people that are taking the same flight as us, that were carpooling on a separate carpool, which was Blanksy and uh, I Punch Kids, they were texting us in the group chat, like, where the fuck are you guys? Like, we, dude, like, it was, it was literally, they were like, dude, we're gonna start, they said we're gonna start boarding in 10 minutes. And we're like, all right, we're right outside the airport, we'll make it, we'll make it. So we get into the fucking airport. We miss the off ramp to fucking get part, to get to the parking structure at the airport. And at this point, I think Blanksy has messaged the group chat, like, we're boarding. Like, I don't know how much time you guys have left. And it's at this point that we get all, we go, we see a full circle around the LAX uh, roundabout. 
park, we are fucking bolting into this airport. And we fucking get in there, and we're standing in line. The line looks like a fucking Rube Goldberg machine, because it's so goddamn long and elaborate. We have no fucking clue how we're going to make it on time. And we're standing there, and Arrow is like, all right, cool, I'm going to check into my flight now. And so Arrow has the phone in his hand. His phone in his hand, his, his hand is, like, shaking. And he's like, it's not, he's like, the, it's not loading. It's like, he's like, the page isn't loading. Come to find out, since they've already been boarding, you can't check in for the flight anymore because it's that's just not how it works like you don't get to check in for the flight because the flight's about to fucking take off like checking in does nothing for you now so at that point we're like fuck we're gonna have to leave arrow that was what we thought and then we're like pleading with a tsa agent we're like we're about to miss our flight this is fucking bad luckily she takes pity on us she lets us she she puts us all the way through like to the handicap fucking line or something we get through, and as, as soon as one of us gets through, Blanksy messages us, and he's like, they're having us shut our phones off. We're about to take off. I am so silent because I am about to fist fight Venom and Arrow <laughs> for the bullshit they've put me through. And what makes it all worse is Venom is sitting there so nonchalant. He's like, he's sitting there like, I guess we're not, I guess we're not going. Whatever, dude. He's like, and he's sitting there like, I don't even want to go anyways. Whatever. It's not even a big deal. I don't care. And I am about to start screaming at Venom. And then somebody tells us, they're like, hey, for $50, you can just change your flight to the next one. There's another one leaving in an hour. All you have to do is, is just pay the fifty dollars, which I felt like I didn't, I shouldn't have had to purchase. I, personally, me personally, I shouldn't, I should, I felt like Venom and Arrow should have pulled their money together for their stunt they pulled to pay for my, pay for my, my, my rescheduling fee. They didn't, but that's that's how it is. So finally, bags checked. It's my twenty-first birthday. I sit down, I have an $18 Long Island iced tea for the f <laughs> in, in the fucking airport. And I'm finally just like, dude, we're about to go to New York. It was fucking, first time I traveled to the East Coast. First time I traveled anywhere really outside of the West, like outside of fucking like Nevada from SoCal. So I was fucking excited. We get there, we get there really fucking late because we missed the first flight. We end up not being able to go to the pre-tournament for Supernova. And um, we end up sitting outside of what is known as um, the House of Zuru, I think, which is Zahime. Other circles will call will call him Zaim, and uh, Guru Kid, there because they're housing us. And so we're we're saying we're sitting outside of their stoop, waiting for them to get back from the tournament. It's kind of cold, a little, a little nippy, and um, they show up. We get inside. And we're like, fuck yeah, dude, Supernova's tomorrow. Let's get some rest, have some fun. 